we estimated based on our results that there are seven and a half tons of plastic litter on the shoreline of Charleston Harbor. We found a lot of plastic bottles, we found a lot of wrappers, and we found a lot of single-use plastic bags. And we found that levels of microplastics within the harbor were similar to that of other urbanized estuaries. And what we found was that about 25% of our microplastic material were tire wear particles. Organisms, wildlife can ingest these plastic materials, and it's well-documented single-use plastic bags and turtles. And so for larger things like single-use plastics and um, cups and bottle caps, those can be ingested by birds, they can be ingested by um, crustaceans, larger crustaceans, and um, fish as well, right? They mistake them for food, they will fill their gut with these microbeads, and it slows down their digestive processes. They become constipated, and it takes 10 to 14 times longer for them to pass these plastic materials through their gut than normal food. And so this has implications for nutrition, it has implications for growth, and has implications on reproduction. But then there's this longer term concern in that as the plastics break down, that is as they produce these microplastic particles, the plastic now can impact a wider variety of organisms, like our filter feeders, like oysters. As they filter water, they can be taking up these microplastic particles and accumulating these microplastics within their tissues. And so now there's a connection to human health because now humans are consuming the oysters and consuming those plastic particles. 